Hello, my name is Ralph and welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. We are here to report back to Mid and continue our story. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid. Hi. We're pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. Yes. You found something for it. Yes. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat, a coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant. I knew you wouldn't let me down. I try not to. Like me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! To the Black Hammer? Okay. You know, when I go into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo does <laughs> displacement stacks same difference sort of not really whatever you call it i ain't putting it together in here it's cramped enough as it is yeah let's take this outside mid you get all the parts lined up on the deck i'll take care of the rest on my way Sounds like a plan, oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find this is going to require some precision wallabing. <laughs> she laughed without opening her mouth. Some time later. Huh. Is that it? Oh no, that's just the device they've been building. Holy cow. Okay. It's finished. It's finally finished. It's just the engine, right? Fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. What? I'm sorry. Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines, and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean... <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Okay, thank God. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? D okay. All right. Okay, speak to me. Okay. What's the matter? Nothing. Just daydreaming. About? Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst, and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. Do you I want it to be? I want people to sail a border by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do yep. everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? I try. All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans, I'm trusting in yours. Okay. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. Yeah. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Eat it in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, 
Okay, what is the one thing you need to finish? A new quest is available. Oh yeah. It's here somewhere. Who has new... At the reading table? What is this? Cheers for your help dragging Blackthorn out of the dumps the other day. Thing is, I reckon he's gone and thrown himself back in, judging by the droop of his jowls lately. So I'm thinking maybe it weren't just the leather that what was on his mind. Maybe there's other demons jabbing their pitchforks into the, his privates. I know you're a busy bloke, but next time you find yourself free, maybe we could go and ask the old bastard what's got him so hot and bothered? Assuming it ain't just the forge. Yeah, we'll do that. Hopefully it's nothing. But I should speak to Blackthorn just in case. Yeah. Like there were a few quests here. A bad feeling. Clive, something ain't right with that hound of yours. If it pleases your lordship, come pay me a visit at the toll. Okay. What, what do you mean? With Togo? You seen well enough when I last saw him. Uh, a bone to pick. And there was one more. Off the record. I was thumbing through the hideaway ledgers at Otto's behest and might have come across something that might need your attention. Maybe. And by that I mean immediately. You know where I'll be. Okay. Trouble with the ledgers. Shouldn't he be asking Otto for help? Hey, back. Let's start here and we'll work our way around. What's going on? I got your note. You think something's wrong with Torgal? So you can read. Congratulations. But I didn't say I were wrong with him. I said some that weren't right. He's not been eating me treats. He used to love cracking the bones from Molly's boiled brown, but now he won't so much as look at him. Didn't like him. Which is why I'm of a mind that his mind's on somewhere else. You've not been working well, too hard, have you? No harder than usual. Is that it, boy? Do you need a rest? Okay. Well, what you stay here. Was? A frost wolf. That's what the lawsman seems to think. Then maybe this all has something to do with whatever it is that's woken inside him. I suppose well, there's happened differences, Rosaleth. Perhaps Hippocrates knows something. Instead of everything. You mean? Perhaps. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll go and talk to him. I wonder if it's he needs to be around Jillmore. I need to ask you about Torgor. Something's not right with him. He isn't ill, is he? I don't think so. But according to Lady Karen, he seems to have lost his appetite. Which is certainly a new development. She says he's hardly been touching his bones of late, and she believes it may have something to do with what happened at Rosalith Castle. Hmm. I rather think she might be right, though not about his appetite. All canids are instinctively inclined to crack open bones for the rich marrow that resides within, and I uh -huh. see no reason why a frost wolf should be any different. Accordingly, I suspect it is not a lack of appetite that afflicts Torgal, but a surfeit of it. If we assume that his newfound magics require additional nourishment to sustain, it may well be that the bones Lady Karen is accustomed to providing are no longer sufficient. Frost wolves, well, after I all, guess that would make sense. prey upon far larger animals whose bones may yield altogether different nutrients. As to where mm. one might find a suitable substitute, some antelopes that graze the meadows of eastern Rosaria have been known to grow to a size more than double that of their lesser cousins. I don't okay. recall ever seeing any that large. And little wonder. 
The oldest and largest such creatures rarely leave the safety of the highlands for fear of predators. The last elder antelope sighting I recall hearing about took place near Cressida, and that was long before the village was abandoned. Okay. So, it seems like a good place to start. Good hunting, Clive. Yeah. All right, so he needs bigger bones. Sounds good. It looked like another quest was in was in Mids or near Mids Workshop, if not Black in Mids Workshop. You have a moment. Not really, no. This won't take long. I just wanted to ask how you're getting on. August was worried about you, and you might still be doubting your craft, even after learning the trick of that cuirass. Is there something else weighing on your mind? Perhaps sharing your thoughts might help. That bastard's like a widow bone. Still, you've got a keen eye, I'll give him that. He's just, well, Karen showed me something. Something I've never seen before. And Again? That was a sword. An odd looking thing with a single edge blade. The metal okay. itself wasn't anything to write home about, but fuck me. The edge on it. You could slice a man clean in two with a weapon like that, and he'd be halfway home before he even realized he'd been cut. So that's what's huh. troubling you. Nah, no, no, no. Not troubling me exactly. More distracting. Can't stop thinking. How do you get an edge of that sharp? It's driving me mad. And if you knew how to do it, we could arm the curse breakers with even better blades. That's yeah. about the size of it, yeah. I'll see what I can find out. Sharper swords are always welcome. When we go and have our master blacksmith <laughs> That's being distracted. You're a soft touch, you know that. But I can't say I'm not grateful for it. Good luck, eh? Thank you. Well, let's see what Karen knows about this sword. I had a feeling I have to go back to her. All right, Karen. Well, what about the sword? Sword. Sword. Not sure. I want to know about the sword you showed Blackthorn. Single-edged and extremely sharp. Running around after him again, are you? I suppose I am, yes. But I need to help him find out how to work an edge like that. It's driving him to distraction. Little wonder, I suppose. There's not many like that make it as far as the twins, and those that do go straight into private collections. Which made it nice and easy finding a buyer. Can you tell me who bought it? Where is it now? You think I tell people who my clients are? Suppose you're not likely to go nicking him off me, are you now? Fine. No. If you stop mooning at me like that. Lord Ignax, <laughs> the man you want. Delmechian bloke. Collects weapons and the like. And he's got more money than sense, which is why he's one of my favourite clients. Reckon well, he'll still be at the good, inn in Dalamil, where I left him. Thank you, Karen. Oh. All right. And he's a touch eccentric. If you take my meaning. I appreciate the warning. Okay. All right, go. What's going on? Clive. Did you get my letter? Yes. That's why I'm here. What? Is this better? A little. Listen. I have some bad news. It turns out the hideaway may be slightly behind in its payment to certain lenders. And it uh, okay. may be my fault. But I swear to the goddess, I thought I had the numbers square. Sadly, okay. that square turned out to be more of a circle zero you might say I can straighten it out I swear but it's gonna take some time and I'm gonna need help keeping it from Otto be late for that I'd say there you are <laughs> what a surprise so let me get this straight you forget to pay our lenders what they're due and instead of coming straight to me you get Clive to come to you. Now he'll dig you out of the hole you've dug for yourself. Clive, the man in charge of the place you've been cheerfully trying to bankrupt. And you 
thought this was a cunning plan. Why? Well, who needs paying? Oh, just Martha. And the dame. And, well, Lady Karen. <laughs> but only 500 talents. We owe three of our most trusted friends five million gil. Each. Are million you kidding me? Each. They lent us the bulk of the money we used to rebuild the hideaway, you see? And, well, I, I must have made some sort of oversight. I'm thinking you shouldn't be in charge of the books anymore. Those ledgers were my responsibility. And it was my decision to entrust them to you. This is my fault. Do we have that much to hand? I can always ask my uncle. No, we don't. And no, you won't. We've lightened Lord Rosfield's purse enough. After the King's ransom we had off him, he deserves better than to see our begging bowl. Besides, we'll need to learn to stand on our own if we're gonna make this work. All right. Okay. But that doesn't mean you have to shoulder the burden yourself. Is there anything I can do to help? There might be. How's your fancy taking these to Martha and the Dame? Rocks. Rocks, he says. Worth a thousand talents apiece, these are. Oh, wow. Something Sid and I set aside for when times got lean. And I reckon 15 million in overdue debt probably qualifies. Yeah, I would Just say. Just hope our associates' eyes are a bit more discerning than yours. I'm sure they will be. Mm. Should be me making the rounds, really. But you know how it is with this place. Orders to bark, asses to wipe, and all that. Yeah, I know. Which is why I don't mind going in your place. Go. You know why I only gave Master Clive here two star rubies? Because you'd rather Lady Karen killed me. Because yep. I'd rather Lady Karen killed you. Yes. <laughs> well, I suppose this is goodbye then. Don't worry. I'm sure Karen will understand. Really? Do you think so? No. No. I don't. <laughs> is that is that in Ben's lab? It is, okay. Sid, reckon you might be just the man to help me out with a bit of bother, if you've a mind to. Let's ah. hear it. Yeah. Well, it's about this alembic the chief's got me making. Lovely bit of kit it is. Bung in a solution you want split in, and it will separate it out, just like that. Problem is, it won't always get rid of all the impurities. And with some of the stuff we need it for, that ain't good enough. Okay, Which so is why I've been looking for something to filter the liquid we'll be cooking off. And that's where I was hoping you could help me out. What do you need? I imagine Ty could get some use out of this alembic too. Distilling medicines and the like. Alright. Why not? Yeah. Proper job! So what exactly do you need for this filter? Nothing but bomb ash will do, says the chief. Gave me a sample okay. she obtained from the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. You pour the bomb blackest ash, okay. blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. So, I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get older some. And do you know uh -huh. what I found out? It's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind when they die, see? I take okay. it that's where I come in. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. You, you act like it's I, I saw a billet not a big deal. Just the other day. Would have gone myself, but, well, fighting dirty great balls of flame isn't exactly my forte. You, on the other hand. You want me right. to fight a bomb king? I'll see what I can do. And you act Frank like it's you no big deal. And, okay. And a good hunting, eh? <sighs> Weird science. Alright, let's figure out where this bomb king is. And he 
is going to be curse breaker aiming a curse breaker aiming for the imperial chase took a wrong turn into a nearby wood within which she discovered the ruins of a fallen airship and within them a beast akin to a great ball of fire that chased her screaming from the grove the soldier later identified the creature in the almanac of echoes but was firm in her insistence that the bomb she saw was near 10 times the size of the one depicted therein imperial chase into the woods okay where's the imperial chase uh, southern sand brick central sand brick Where is the Imperial Chase? I'm not even sure where that is. Well, I guess we'll just we'll go to Martha's Rest and then we'll go to Dalamil and then we'll go to Northreach and we'll do all those things. So yeah, we'll, we'll do that and we'll, we'll see if we can figure out where, um, where the, 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 Imperial Chase is. I have a feeling that it's going to be over here, but we're going to start with Martha's Rest. Right, so I looked at the map and didn't see the Imperial Chase here, but there are two quests here for us to do. So we're going to give Martha this uh, Star Ruby. And then we'll go and find the Elder Antelope. Clive, we weren't expecting you. I wasn't expecting to be here, but it seems we still owe you a considerable amount of coin for your help with our rebuilding efforts. And though I doubt it's what you were expecting, we were hoping you'd take this as payment. No, I'm sure she will. A star, Ruby? I can't accept this. It's worth at least twice what you owe me. More if you can find yourself the right buyer. Think of the difference as interest. Interest? If word got out I charged that much, no one would ever borrow from me again. Anyway, oh, don't worry. why are you the one here asking me about this? I'd have expected Otto. Bit much sending the Lord Marquis out to sell your debts, <laughs> isn't it? The old goat working himself to death again. Something Pretty like much. Most days I think he's the only reason the hideaway is still standing. Same as always, eh? Yep. Back when the place was nothing but a twinkle in the eye of a recently retired Lord Commander, word is he was the first one Sid reached out to. Probably knew that without his strong arm and level head, the idea would never get off the ground. Sid may have been the face of the hideaway, but Otto's always been the backbone. And when Sid passed away, we were all worried that would be the end of it. That Otto would just give up. His death was hard on everyone. But it must have hit Otto hardest of all. But he Probably. didn't give up, did he? Quite the opposite, in fact. If I recall, he was the one who nominated you as Sid's replacement, and rallied the rest around you. I reckon what he saw in Sid, he saw in you too. And don't we all? Doesn't hurt that you're half as stubborn and twice as handsome, neither. <laughs> that, and you keep I go make me blush. <laughs> I suppose I do. Yeah, not taking no for an answer as far as that star ruby goes. Alright. So the next thing is over here. I need to go out this way. Okay, well there's antelope. Yeah, we'll find one bigger than that. You hungry Toggle? Oh. 
you get your fill of bone marrow? Bloody hide. No. Will it be enough, I wonder? Me mm, wonder too. <laughs> you seem excited. I say that answers my question. Yep. Which means we owe the lawsmen our thanks. Uh, that we do. You're just a big puppy, aren't you? A very big puppy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do know you can take that with you, Togo. Lady Karen will be relieved to hear you got your appetite back. Come on, boy. All right. So there's that. Gotta return to the highway for that one. The well, hideaway for that one. Okay. So now we'll go here and take care of this. And here we go. People take notice of wealthy men. Shouldn't be too hard to track down Kara's collector. Gone. The whole mother crystal gone. What are we gonna do? Uh huh. Oh. My reputation will be ruined. Ruined! Calm yourself, Lord Ignorant. Why? I How? I beg of you, before you do yourself a mischief. Pardon the intrusion, but... Out! Get out! I paid for these rooms so I wouldn't be disturbed. Leave me be! Please, allow me to apologize. His lordship is going through a difficult time, and he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Radim! Get rid of the filthy oath this instant! Very good, Lord Ignac. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? Why... Why would I want to help him? I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. That? No, no, no. That's just how his lordship is. Though the morning's events have left him somewhat fractious. I He's gather. been dispossessed of his luggage, you see. The thieves also made away with a considerable amount of coin. Coin the innkeeper will soon be keen to collect. I don't suppose a certain blade was among the stolen items. A single-edged sword. It was purchased from a merchant friend of mine. Ah, you know Lady Karen. Yes, I'm afraid it was. Then I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. But I have one condition. You are but to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to grant. I want an audience with Lord Ignac. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. A condition I would be a fool to refuse. Of course, you shall have your audience. I don't suppose uh, you saw where good. the thieves went. I did not. No. Though some discreet inquiries made on his lordship's behalf mean that I know where you might find them. The bandit's bed. The Every bandit's bed. Every gotten coin in Dalamon is said to pass through that disreputable corner of the Valcroy. And that's where I'm heading. I shall speak to Lord Ignac in your absence and arrange for an audience upon your triumphant return. That will be very kind of you. Farewell, and best of luck. Hey guys! Got company. Come on, lads, let's tear the bastard's head off. Ow! All right. Whoa. Bad juju bees. No. No. Bad monkey. 
No, bad monkey. poke in the butt oh right in the butt <laughs> got him get him All right. this must be Ignax luggage nothing seems to be damaged all right let's get it back to Delamel sounds like a plan Stan Here I have you to thank for the return of my effects. What shall I call you, my good man? Wyvern. Glad to make your acquaintance. Well, a that's a nice name. name indeed. Well, Wyvern, I appear to be in your debt. Yes, Red yes, Emir you do. tells me you wished for an audience. Is that all? A few moments of your time should suffice, yes. You're a peculiar fellow, Wyvern. All right. Speak. A master wyvern was wondering if you could tell him about a certain single-edged sword you recently acquired. Oh, a true work of art, that one. Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her Radim here to get my hands on that sword. Huh. It was made in the outer isles, far beyond the twins, and is okay. used exclusively by the practitioners of a unique school of swordsmanship. They believe no combat should ever exceed a single strike and hone their blades to such perfection that none ever does. Each sword is made for that one perfect stroke and for that stroke only. They crack upon a second blow. There's a brutal oh. sort of beauty to it, really. Okay. But how do they hone such an edge? <laughs> Fine question. Why, they use a whetstone, of course. Whetstones, rather. A whole array of them, ranging from the coarse to the fine. 10,000 licks with the sharpening stone, then 10,000 more. But it is the final stone which lends the blade its legendary sharpness. A mineral quite foreign to this great realm of ours. Okay. And that is the key. The secret ingredient. But if you can only use the blade once, Why, then it occurs to me that my little lecture good is in hardly war. equal to services rendered. Take this, together with my regards. The very stone of which I spoke, far rarer among collectors than even the blade itself. Ooh. And a far more fitting payment. Well, thank you. Thank you? Pardon the intrusion, my lordship. However, it is long past time we prepared ourselves to depart. So it is. I am locked in bitter competition with a rival collector of curiosities. Oh, I am one okay. step ahead of the unscrupulous scoundrel, but he is hard at my heels. And there are many other collectors out there. Too many to count, but only one do I consider my nemesis. <laughs> Lord <My uncle. laughs> Byron Rosfield. And is a perennial thorn in my side <laughs> I can imagine farewell wyvern may our paths cross again Radim we mustn't dawdle I think his lordship is rather taken with you master wyvern thank you again for your assistance coming my lordship I'll be right there. Trust Uncle Byron to find such an interesting rival. <laughs> now, let's see what Blackthorn makes of this whetstone, shall we? Alright. So that's that. Now, we 
could go over here to North Reach in Northern Sandbrick. I was right. It was in the area I thought I thought it would be. That's kind of why I chose it to be the last place we went. But uh, we're gonna go talk to the lady first. Did you hear? And give her the star ruby. What am I gonna do without sweet water and oil talk? There it is, Bill. My lady, I come bearing gifts. Gifts? Whatever is the occasion. A debt owed. Oh my, Clive, you really have outdone yourself. Otto asked me to give it to you, to settle the hideaway's debt with the veil, and to compensate you for the time it took us to do so. Oh, you disappoint me, Clive. <laughs> I thought you might finally be warming to me. Sorry, my lady. Tell Otto he can keep his baubles. I tried to tell him as much the first time around. The man owes me nothing, nor does the hideaway. My contribution to the restoration effort was made freely and willingly. It was the least I could do. You once told me Sid did you a kindness. I'd like to do the same. Please, accept it. For my sake. And for Otto's. For all of us. For all you've done. <sighs> it is <laughs> rather fetching, isn't it? Very well. <laughs> Otto is lucky to have you, Clive. I doubt anything could ever replace his son. But you and the others at the hideaway are the closest thing he has to family. Otto had a son. I didn't know that either. Long ago, yes. Sid told me Otto lost him when he was just a boy and blamed himself for not being able to stop it. I don't oh, know man. how it happened, whether there was anything he could have done, but it was clear that it weighed heavily on him. I didn't know. How could you have? I doubt anyone did. Besides Sid, I've never met a man more keen to bear his sorrows in stoic silence. Huh. An ill habit, given that both have always been surrounded by friends desperate to help them. <laughs> well, I'm Clive is kind of the same that. way. Go will want to know the stones were delivered. If he's still with us. <laughs> if Caron didn't kill him first. Alright. Now let's go find this bomb king. Yep, yeah, pretty sure that's it. There you are. Bomb King rank B. 9,000 gil and 20 reputation. Coronation. Owie. Whoa. Ow. Jerk! Keep juggling him! Keep juggling him! Don't kill him! Huh? Don't let him go! Uh, we let him. Why do we let him? I know! Oh, it's a lot! Oh! Uh oh! Ow! Okay, got it, got it, got it. Good. No. Bad bomb cake. Going. Oh. Uh, what, what, what was that? I, I hit him up in the air with like a baseball. This one. Ow! Oh shoot! 
not not good. I hope so. Okay. Okay. It's all good. Jeez. That last thing was a bit bit hairy there. I almost died. Okay. Bomb ember. Gotcha. Your reign is over. Now to collect the ash. Alright. I should probably have brought a bucket. <laughs> this looks like the stuff. Yeah, you probably should have brought a bucket. Let's see if there's any more. Two. Three. That should do it. Here we go. The wine needs more than this. He can fetch it himself. <laughs> okay. Now with that all done, we can head back to the hideaway and turn everything in. I noticed you and Togo had gone off somewhere. Took him for a walk, did you? I did, I did. You could say that. So, Molly's leftovers weren't good enough, eh? Can't teach <laughs> me for treating you like you're still a pup. <laughs> oh. All right, all right, no need to shout. <laughs> now I know what you're after, I can see about getting some in. Speaking of which, I brought one for later. Can I leave it with you? Uh, yeah, there you go. You can, eh? I'm nice like that. <laughs> in return, you can thank Tomes for me. The bloody know it all. <laughs> I was just on my way to see him. Alright, so now we gotta go talk to Tomes. Hello, Tomes. Ah, Clive. Were you able to locate your quarry? We were indeed, Lawsman. You pointed us in exactly the right direction. And Torgal's been a very happy hound ever since. Very good, very good. Lady Karen sends her thanks, by the way, for your part in solving the mystery. Ah, but that reminds me. After your last visit, I found myself pondering Torgal's talents. Uh -huh. I recall our conversation concerning Lady Jill's role in Torgal's transformation. About yes. About how she somehow woke the power within him. Precisely that. A reasonable conclusion, I thought but one which raised certain questions in my mind. You see, the Fenrir of legend served Shiva and Shiva alone. And while uh -huh. the powers attributed to him are certainly impressive, the records imply they are somewhat different in nature to those you describe Torgal as having used. Interesting. Suggesting that Torgal may be the beneficiary of more than one icon's power. Consider... Huh. That in addition to Lady Jill, he has served as a loyal companion to you, your brother, and even the late Sid. In short, yeah. the icons hitherto near at hand, or should I say at poor, have been diverse and plenty. And that number has only grown as the realm's dominance have fallen to your sword. One can True. but speculate as to how all of this has affected Torgal. He has seemed more fierce of late. And if I'm not mistaken, he will grow fiercer still. We are fortunate indeed to be able to count him amongst our allies and not our adversaries. <laughs> oh, he's more than an ally. He's a friend. Uh, well, of course. It's, it's Torgo. He's, the, he's a good pup. He's a good puppy. Okay. One quest turned in. Sorry for the wait, but hopefully you'll agree it was worth it. You learned something about that sword then? I did better than that. Sundered whetstone. I... a whetstone? Yes. But not one you'll find anywhere in Valestia. Huh. Finish on the grinding wheel. <laughs> One hit and all done, eh? 
Might not be so bad if all you ever fought were duels. Yeah. <sighs> good luck on the battlefield. Your That's second exactly what I said. Your last, no matter how good you were. Even so, is there some way it could be used to give the curse breakers an edge? I think so. Yeah. With this whetstone and the right kind of steel, I could probably even make a twin of the blade that rattled me. But there'd be no replacing this little rock once I worn it down to a sliver. I reckon we get a dozen swords from it, if that. Swords that the curse breakers wouldn't know how to wield, probably, and that would see them through a single fire piece. Nah, no point trying to copy that thing. Be about as much use as a wax anvil. Yeah. But finishing our blades with a whetstone is fine. Now that's something to consider. And what's finer than fallen masonry, eh? Or more hard wearing for that matter. Just imagine it. Good Valisthean steel with an edge as sharp as any found in the Outer Isles. I won't make a copy now. Nah. I'll make something much better. Good. I'm sure the Curse Breakers will be delighted. Just don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> don't you worry about me, sunshine. I'll be working day and night since I was half your age. And I'll still be here when you're long gone. Yeah, probably. Hey. You're a tough old bird. Thanks, Clive. I mean it. I owe you one, August too. It's good to know someone's looking out for me. You'll be happy to hear you said that. And I'll see that my debt to you's paid. First new blade I make's got your name on it. Oh, you come and find thanks. me when you've got the materials. Right. I will. I wonder if I already have them. Blacksmith's Blues Tooth. Excalibur? Oh, nice! Excalibur recipe unlocked. Okay, um, yes. I, oh, I want to see what I need for Excalibur. What do I need for Excalibur? What do I need for Excalibur? Answer. Guy of Blade. Wire right. Can I buy that from Diamond Sword plus one? White worm bone. Wire right. Can I buy wire right from uh Teron? And what can I do for you? Go on then. Sometimes she has stuff like that. It'd better I'll be here. She does. that much money to buy that many. Okay, uh, let's go the other way. Let's buy... I think it was 300 that I needed, so let's buy 504, so that way I have 500 extra. Go. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Eh. No, I'm not. Alright. Clive. Blackthorn. What's saying for you, dear? I want Excalibur. No scratches, alright? <laughs> yes. Alright, Owain, here's your. Bomb ash stuff. Right there, Sid. Yeah, I got Where's it for you. Hunt for the bomb ash going. I have it here. That's the stuff, and plenty of it too. Enough to keep the Olympic bubbling away for a good old while. Good. For a gent, Sid. Let nothing say otherwise. Right then. Thanks. Let's get this contraption up and running. Okay. 
What are you making? Some time later. There we have it. The Telamon Malembic. And it works just like the chief said it would. <sighs> okay. Very impressive. <laughs> Since the man who cut down a burning boulder. Speaking of which, I still haven't returned a the favor. There's no need. The good it will do for the hideaway is reward enough. Don't be silly. Why don't you let me take a look at that bag of yours? The one you keep your potions in. Reckon I could work some magic on that, huh? What okay. kind of magic? Well, we happen to have isolated a substance in our test run of the Alembic that I reckon will make even the toughest lever supple as anything. But we okay. might use it to breathe new life into old boots and the like. Save the hideaway a few, Gil. Ah, oh, that'd be nice. I reckon if we slap a bit on your bag, it'll loosen up enough for you to squeeze in a bottle or two more. Nice. Well, it can't hurt to try, I suppose. That's the spirit. Leave it with me. I'll only be a mo. So I can carry more potions now. That's nice. That's very nice indeed. What do you reckon? It certainly feels more flexible. Right? Told you. Thank you. I think. No, we'll, no. We'll see. Thank you for supporting Mid and the rest of us in our endeavors. Without you, we'd never have been able to discover wonders like that stuff I rubbed on your bag. And I'm telling you, there's plenty more where that came from. Thanks, I think. Weird science. Treated potion satchel. Inventory increased. Sweet. All right. Oh, now I can hold six potions, four high potions, and three of the other two. That is nice. You have something new for me. Welcome to the patron's whisper. Come to claim your just desserts. A light from the heavens well, for High Clark's Medallion. The goddess Grieger teaches us that to walk with the wretched in an act of, is an act of greater good. If we are to accept this truth, then one could not rightly call he who follows this path an outlaw. A humble servant. Here you are. Thanks. And I'm Come 100 again. away from the next I may one. I have more for you. Ah, that would be nice. Still alive, I see. So Lady Karen accepted the ruby. Ah, oh, about that. Uh, I tried my best, but she was just too stubborn to take it. She threw it right back in my face, in fact, and told me I could stick my stupid stone where the sun don't shine. Karen oh. refused payment. I hope it wasn't something I said. I'm sure you were as tactful as ever. Let me see what I can do. Oh. Wonderful. I hope you have better luck than I did. Well, I get the feeling that you're kind of uh, a wee bit useless in most things. Lady Karen, Go tells me you weren't happy with our offer. Would you prefer the debt was repaid in coin? What debt? I don't recall lending any of you lot me hard earned gill. I may have tossed a talent or two in the Ardaway's coffers, but those were donations, and you can hardly call it charity if you go asking for it back. Of course not. But one good turn deserves another, and our circumstances have changed. Surely you wouldn't shun the gratitude of a pauper who happened to have become a prince. <laughs> oh, so you're a prince now, are you? Um, Fine. Actually, but I'm, I'm selling kind of a taking what I'm owed, then you're getting bit. the rest whether you like it or not. Ah. Where'd you even get this? A decent trader might nab a thousand talents for a star ruby. 
A canny one, meanwhile, might claim it were nicked from the belt of Sid the Outlaw himself and ask twice as much. <laughs> might be I already have a buyer in mind. Might be nice. I even know her. The fine continental maid whose beauty is only eclipsed by a guile in commerce. You won't oh. mind, would you? Not at all. Just be sure to tell her that it's always a pleasure doing business. <laughs> I'm not. Sh I don't remember who she's talking about, but uh... I'm assuming you that you ended up delivering all three stunts. That might be the lady. Thanks to this lump, I sometimes wonder what I pay you for. Speaking of which, I uh. Uh, I still haven't been paid last month's wages. We well, haven't oh. exactly done your job either. So you remember what's owed to you then? Get your ass beyond that disc of yours and don't get up before those ledges are square. <laughs> right away. Yeah. I've seen that before. You yeah, have, yeah. Plenty of times. It was the only goblet Sid ever used. Either out of habit. All because the filthy soul couldn't be bothered to find a clean one. <laughs> I knew so little about him. Like most people. Martha and the dame both seem to have fond memories of him. <laughs> I bet they do. How long did you know Sid before he... Before he died. Twenty summers, give or take. Back in the day. I was a purser on a trade ship, which is where I met him. He bought passage to, I oh, forget where, and having nothing better to do on the long nights, we set up drinking island rum till the morning bell dragged me back to my duties. Quit my post not long after that, on account of making a fine maiden's belly fat. But me and Sid oh, stayed man. close, promising we'd one day sail the seas again. That was before fate stepped in and said she was having none of it. The magic woke inside my son soon after his first name day, and there was no oh, hiding man. his neck. Couldn't you and your family have? My family were the ones who summoned the constable, wanted the monster taken away. Oh, I couldn't turn horrible. my back on him. Forget what I felt. And I couldn't for the life of me understand how they could. That's Luckily, horrible. Sid was of the same mind as me. It was him who stood beside me when all I wanted was to tear the whole world down. Him who cried for me when I had no tears left of my own. Him who swore he'd do everything he could. Stop it from happening again. And he was true to his word, too. Left the Royal Army once and for all. His ranks, his ribbons, gone. Just like that. Threw away everything he had. All to right a wrong that no one else had the courage to face. I knew then. I'd follow that man to the ends of the earth. Well, he was a good guy. Ah, Sid. He was always too clever for his own good, was Sid. <laughs> he saw the world for what it really was, while the rest of us were content to go along with the lie we were shown. And it can't have been easy bearing that burden alone. Stop him. He never lost faith in what he believed was right. And that gave us faith in him. Faith he'd steer us true. So I swore to myself that I'd always be right behind him, ready to catch the stubborn sod if ever he should fall. Couldn't he 
even do that? Ignore me. Just the ramblings of a tired old man. No, no. No, no, no. Leave that lot. I'll tidy it up in a bit. This. This is Sid's handwriting. Dear Otto, I may be drunk, but I wanted you to know, this place would be fucked without you. Love you, you old grumpy old sod. <laughs> this note. Hmm? What about it? Sid was right. Without you, we all be lost. You should have bloody well said so then. Just once. Before he went. Before we continue on with the story, so we paid back our debts. We fought a king bomb, almost died fighting the king bomb, and uh, yeah, we learned a little more about some of the members of the hideaway. So, yeah, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good, good play, for it. good, good play. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did. Please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel because it really helps my channel grow. As always, keep your head up and keep moving forward. This is Rough Note, signing off. Bye-bye!